A rain kilt or a pair of rain pants? Are there any benefits using a kilt over a pair of rain pants? And what do you prefer? Well, that is up for discussion today, where I will go through what I find to be the pros and the cons of using them both, based on the experience I have using a kilt for about three years and pants even longer. Personally, I haven't looked back after my change to a kilt and I see mostly benefits, but sure, there are some scenarios when using a kilt is just bad, or at least not preferable. And the opposite, when using a kilt is just perfect, according to me. So stay tuned. Just like most people, I have in the past mostly used rain pants uh, without zippers, with quarter length or full length zippers. But no matter what I choose, I always struggle putting them on. Although it is of course much easier if you choose one with a full length zipper. I also find pants to be really sweaty and no matter what fabric I tried, I just never found that right level of comfort that I was looking for. And that's why I looked for alternatives and ended up with a kilt. Now, like I said in the beginning, I see mostly benefits using a kilt for three season hiking, but I also know that the cons is a real deal breaker for some people. So let's look at the facts and start the comparison. For this comparison, I will compare two different alternatives against each other. One being the Z-Pax Rain Kilt and the other the Berghaus Packlight Over Trousers. The Z-Pax Rain Kilt is made from a 1 ounce per square yard DCF and the Berghaus Pants Gore-Tex Packlight, which a lot of different brands are using like Hoglot's Limp Pants, just to mention one. We will start out by looking at the pros of using a kilt and then a little bit later on look at the cons and in the end summarize everything for you to be able to make up your mind what the best choice is for you. Depending on which kilt you go for, the weight will differ, but a kilt will always be lighter compared to pants. So that's the first benefit, a kilt is lighter compared to pants. The Z-Pax Rain Kilt weighs in at only 53 grams. Enough said. Benefit number two is that a kilt is really easy to put on and take off. And no need taking off your shoes. And you could probably also make it without even removing your backpack. For number three, we have the very high waterproofness of the DCF. And set packs, they specify over 20,000 millimeters H2O. Now I know that other fabrics like Gore-Tex Packlight, like we have in the rain pants, also have this high water column. But DCF is waterproof, like 100% and will not leak unless you get a hole and will not wet out like a treated nylon would. So there is a big benefit here. But now you might think, why don't they make rain pants or rain jackets in DCF? Hmm. Well, some do but DCF isn't very flexible, so it wouldn't be very comfortable. And also DCF doesn't breathe very well, so you will stay dry from the rain, absolutely 100%, but all the sweat that you build up while hiking will make you wet from the inside instead. Now, when talking about sweat, the fourth benefit is the very good airflow that you get. Because of the open design of the kilt, you will stay cool and dry also from the inside because the sweat that you build up while hiking can easily escape. For the final benefits and benefit number five in comparison to pants is the multiple use of a kilt. You can use it as a small ground sheet inside your vestibule for your gear or you can use it to sit on if the ground is wet. And the tabs, they are really good for a mini tarp for cats maybe? Just like any other gear, using a kilt also comes with a few downsides in comparison to using pants. And the first one being the limitation of the strike length. It might be a problem, it might not, but it depends on the design. If we look at the Z-Pax rain kilt, it could. And you probably can't use the kilt with the zipper all the way down, like you can see. But instead, leave it like 20 or 30 centimeters up. Then it's not going to be any problems, but that will also, of course, give you a little bit less rain protection. The second downside is that a kilt only gives you protection from the waist to your knees, so you will get wet from the knees and down. 
the solution to that problem is to use quick drying pants so that uh, they will dry when it stops to rain or during the night. For that reason I use the Montane Terra Pack Pants and they dry like instant if you compare to many other pants. Downside number three and because of the length and the protection only to your knees your shoes will also get wet. If using a kilt you need a pair of shoes with good drainage and that would be quick drying like a pair of trail runners without Gore-Tex. But most ultralight hikers already use that so not a problem. But if you are using trail runners with Gore-Tex or trail shoes or boots maybe a kilt is not for you. Because you will get wet from the knees and down including your shoes. The downside number four is that a kilt is mainly to be used for warmer conditions and three season hiking and not for the colder seasons. The final downside number five is the noise of the DCF. It is very noisy and might be a real deal breaker for some. For you who are a bit sound sensitive maybe a nylon kilt is the better choice. For me the DCF rain kilt is new for this season so I'm not sure how it work out when it comes to the noise. But if I don't like it, I'll go back to my old one that I've been using for the past years. The Yane Odo rain skirt in 15D nylon covered by a silicon coating. That one is just as silent as any rain pant. If you don't like or if you can't find the Yane Odo rain skirt, there are a few other good options. You can check out the one from ULA or 3FUL just to mention a few. Usually you can find a lot of good options just browsing through Amazon. So again, the question is, what do you prefer? For the lightest option available for three season hiking, and if you don't mind getting wet from the knees and down, that is 100% waterproof, but with a great airflow, and that can be used in multiple ways, a DCF kilt or the less noisy one in nylon is the way to go. For full protection, and if using trail runners, hiking shoes or boots with Gore-Tex, or if you're hiking during cold conditions, when getting wet isn't such a good idea and don't mind the hassle of taking them on and off. Pants are the preferred choice in my book. That was my thoughts when it comes to rain kilt versus rain pants and everything based on my experience of using them both. I really enjoy using my rain kilt and I hope the information today will help you make up your mind which one is the best one for you. So what do you think? Which one is the better choice? Tell us all about your thoughts by leaving a comment. But for now, this is it. And if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week. But for now, take care, safe hiking and bye bye.